And this is from Arza. I hope I've got that name right. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's I-R-S-A, Arza. The title of the question is Dell Factory Restore. I have a Dell Inspron 1564 and I recently saw your video on how to get a Dell back to its factory settings. I followed all your steps correctly and when I got to the system recovery options, I did not have the Dell Data Safe and Emergency Backup option. There is no option for me to do a factory reset. I don't even have the Dell factory image restore. I really need to do this because my computer is sluggish and there's always pop-ups and I don't know what to do now. All right, thanks for the question. Um, what happens when you buy a computer from Dell or Gateway or any of the larger manufacturers is to save money, they don't actually you know, send you a physical like CD or DV disc of the actual backup operating system in case you have a problem. What they do is they usually put a partition on the hard drive that contains the restore image. And if you do not have access to your hard drive, of course, you're not going to be able to restore your computer because it's broken, right? So usually people find this out too late that there's no way to fix a computer once the hard drive is damaged. A lot of times what will happen is either the partition will be damaged or the backup is just not there. It got deleted at some point. So to acquire your image, a new operating system image that would go with your machine, you're going to have to go to the manufacturer, and this is quite easy to do. Let's go to Dell.com, and I'll show you in this case. So they have a 1541, and that would be a laptop. I'm here at Dell.com, and I'm just going to come into their search box at the top. Now, this is going to work for Dell. It may be different for other manufacturers, but it's just poke around, and you'll find it. If you type in restore disk, let's do a search for that. And you can see right here on the top one, there's a recommended Dell Media Recovery Options. Let's click that. Okay, so this is an article that describes how to create backup disk of your Windows 7 installation, as well as how to request media for Windows 7 in participating countries. And there'll be an article here about how you can do a backup disk you can make on your own. Of course, when you have trouble, you're not going to be able to get into the operating system, so this isn't going to help you. But if you look for the part that's talking about how to request the media, it's right here at the very bottom, and it says you can request media backup disk by clicking this link here. So let's go ahead and click this link. Okay, so this is the request form that Dell wants you to fill out to match the operating system to your computer. And if you look on the bottom of the laptop, you'll see some a sticker that says service tag on it, and it will be some numbers and letters. And if you put them in this box right here and then hit continue, you can go ahead and fill out the form and for very little money, I think it's like 15 US dollars, they'll send you a set of backup disk or I think they have a flash drive option now too. And they say right here that the request is limited to one set of backup disk per system purchased. And um, they'll send you a backup factory reinstalled disk of the operating system that was originally on your machine. So if you have a Windows 7 machine and it was that way originally, they'll send you a Windows 7 disk. So this is the easiest, simplest, and best method to restore a machine if your partition doesn't work for your recovery option. Go to the uh, manufacturer site, search for the restore disk option, fill in their form, Put in your mailing address and um, give them your 15 bucks, I think it is. And in a couple days, you have the recovery disc in your mail. Very convenient. Works great. Done a lot. So thanks for the question.
I think this will help you out a lot. I get this question asked of me all the time. So thanks again. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.